I'm Peter Block here in New Orleans at the AHA annual meetings and with me is Mandeep Mera from the Brigham in Boston. Uh, my old stamping grounds, though I was across town at the sort of competing hospital. Anyway, Mandeep and I are old friends. And uh, the issue that you've just talked about, Mandeep, is this whole business of now uh, circulatory assist devices. They've been a problem. The mechanics of them have always been an issue. And now we may have breakthrough technology. So tell me about the trial to start with, and then let's talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts about what this means. Sure, sure. The Momentum 3 trial is the largest LVAD trial that's ever been conducted in a randomized controlled trial format. This trial is testing a traditionally available device, the HeartMate 2, which is uh, approved in the United States for both bridge to transplantation and for destination therapy versus the new novel magnetically levitated device, the HeartMate 3 device. Uh, the HeartMate 3 device is a unique device uh, that has full magnetic levitation, so it's completely frictionless. It's fully implantable in the thorax, so it does not require an abdominal pocket, and it has wider blood flow passages with the capacity to change the speed so that we can create an intrinsic artificial pulse. The design is engineered to prevent one of the most devastating complications of uh, left ventricular assist devices, which is pump thrombosis, essentially. So let me interrupt. I mean, levitated uh, magnetic levitation <laughs> sounds a little bit like uh, magic and yeah. a magic wand that you have yeah. to hold over it. So uh, this is implanted. It yeah. stays apart from all the friction that the other devices have had, yes. and therefore thrombotic issues become less of a problem. Yeah. Tell me about some numbers. What kind yeah. of results have you had? Yeah. So so the Momentum 3 trial um, um, had three stops. Uh, the first stop, which is the primary stop that I uh, presented, is the six-month uh, outcomes of the Momentum 3 trial. And we were able to show evidence not only of non-inferiority of the HeartMate 3 uh, trial to uh, study to the uh, HeartMate 2 device, but also of superiority of the HeartMate 3 to the HeartMate 2 device. Uh, essentially, we were able to demonstrate a, a survival free of disabling stroke or need for reoperation of 86% at uh, six months with the HeartMate 3, uh, which is uh, quite a uh, significant improvement over the 77% observed with the HeartMate 2 device. I mean, we're talking about a 10% difference here. Yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of uh, differences that you get with, you mentioned earlier, a vaccine-like effect. That's yeah. really extraordinary. Well, what was extraordinary about this uh, is that we saw absolutely no cases of pump thrombosis with this uh, frictionless uh, HeartMate 3 device, whereas a 10% rate of pump thrombosis uh, with the HeartMate 2 device. And like a vaccine, uh, you know, elimination of a side effect is a very, very difficult thing uh, to achieve in medicine. Uh, but in this case, we seem to have done it over the six-month period. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess the question then boils down to this, what's going to happen in the future? I mean, we have all these devices that are out there, and now suddenly a new device that seems to work. Yeah. What do you see happening? Yeah, so I think this device is clearly an incremental step forward in this space. Um, as with uh, the technology of cars, so we always see newer and newer uh, cars coming into the market. So this device is clearly one step in that sort of direction. I think the future of left ventricular assist devices will be the heart made Three, coupled with a fully implantable power source device where we don't have to exit uh, a drive line to power the device. That would be nice. Then we can all do it ourselves. Exactly. Don't do this at home kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Mandeep. Thank That's you. exciting work. Thank you, Peter.